Welcome back to another video team. We have a different kind of video and I know some of you guys really enjoy these videos where we just sit down, we jump into some games, we talk about anything. Today's a you know kind of different video. Today's video is actually hashtag sponsored by Ubisoft today. We are going to be talking about the new season, the new operation, everything that's coming, what to expect within year eight. It's going to be lit. But team, what are we thinking so far about Bravo? We've got a free speed with a collage drone. I'm sure we know how it works by now, but you know, a Hackable drone where you can just hack the defender gadgets make it your own if you come over to training as well and go to operator specialties this is a new thing where you can unlock operators just from playing the game and doing challenges deactivate two electronic devices using bulletproof camera so if i you know get a drone with my amp device thing now you unlock Tushanka. The compensator this season as well has been buffed. So I can imagine the Ella Scorpion being OP. I've tried it a bit, but I've not had too many like gunfights to be able to tell if it's, you know, the meta again, I guess you could say. But yeah, year eight as a whole, just from seeing the roadmap and just everything in general, it's so far it's been phenomenal. Which by the way, if I just quickly set up here, cause I feel like I could maybe get a moment. Is this guy, ooh. <laughs> Like, this guy's got the BP trying to get the drone, so he's probably unlocking Chachanka through the um, operator specialties, as we were just saying two seconds ago. Yeah, look, he's <laughs> he's waiting for the drones to come. Gonna do my cheeky for kill hiding in the corner strat. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, something that I do really recommend doing is, as a new player or just a current player, is getting the year eight premium pass, which is 50 pounds, which sounds expensive at start, but you gotta realize this is a whole year long. This is gonna cover, you get four new operators, four new battle passes, which you get a tier 20 skip on all four battle passes. And just think of how many skins you get in each battle pass. And you're getting four battle passes. Not only that, but you get 10% like VIP discount in the store for the whole year long. We might have a wait. We might have a moment. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Did he see me? Holy. Nah, Ella. Wait. Not only that, but you get a 14 day early access to each new operator as well. Which I just want to say as well, you have up until March 20th to get the premium pass. Oh, you see, like a situation like that, the BP was hacked by Brava. I, I truly do think, I've said this many times, but I truly do think Brava is meta changing. I, I've got to say, a W from Ubisoft, right? We've had so many ops recently that have been meta changing. The first three that come to mind, or the three that I'm thinking of, is Brava, Azami, and Solus. Those three have been meta changing. And to think they're all recent is just crazy. Which is really crazy to think. Not gonna 1v3 though. Oh! Wait, give it a second! 1v2 situation, come on, dog! Oh my. I think as well, just Barbara's existence as a whole is just meta changing as well. Because you don't even need to bring her. Like, just her existence just makes characters like Maestro and all that just like... I wouldn't say unplayable, but just like, more risky to bring. I've, I've said this before, right? But I truly think attacker repick makes Brava like 10 times stronger. So let's say I was a, let's say I was Maverick, right? And I'm joining around and I see that they have a Maestro. I see they have an Echo. I see they have an Ella. I can then attack a repick to Brava or like the other way around. Like I can be Brava now, see they don't have any hackable stuff and then switch off of Brava. So you, like you see where I'm coming from, right? Like just her existence, like just her being a operator. This is game changing. What is happening here, team? Not too de- What the? <laughs> what is going on? Mistaken the teammates for the enemies there, team. Right, we do have a mute jammer here. I wonder if we can... Ooh, you know what? Might be worth it if we shoot the door down. We might just be able to... <laughs> hack that. Oh man, that could have been a play. That could have been a play. Right, they've got a lesion. Right, lesion is a hackable device here. So, let's see what we can manage. So, like, this goo mine here I could hack, but is a lesion really going to walk into that? And bearing in mind, you have three 
hacking charges per drone, and you've got two drones. You, got, you can hack six things in total, which is pretty nuts. Like, something I can do here, right, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can play it. If I hack this, hack this default cam, we can use that for later in the round. I could low-key hack the main lobby cam as well, just as, like, a flank one. Also, just a tip, right, what, I didn't realize this at first. When you hack something, your drone has to stay within range until it's fully hacked. Like, there's been times where I tried to hack it and I just walk out the range and it just doesn't... Ooh. Oh, that! Oh! Okay, we know one's there. Okay, but there is a vigil nearby. Let's wait for the. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if that wasn't vigil, I would have been able to use that. Oh! Like hacking that default camp to know vigil was coming down shower hallway, and just like oh, Brava really is. I love Brava. I don't. I just. I can't get over Brava, man. Because I, I have a premium pass, which is a 10% discount, right? And if you look at the welcome packs, right? This is 7,560 R6 credits, yeah? But I also get a skin with it and a 7-day renown booster, right? If I come over here to currency pack, right? To get 7,560 R6 credits just on its own is £42. You're getting a... It's the same price, but you're getting a skin with it as well. So if you are going to be buying R6 credits anyway, you might as well be getting these welcome, welcome packs. We obviously got the new battle pass. I'm sure you guys over at the stream have seen me open this. It's been... The, the, the uniforms have been phenomenal. We did open all our alpha packs and all our bravo packs. And as you can see... I mean, I'm not complaining, but I got this yesterday. And I got black ice this morning. Look, I'll probably get another black ice. Because the game loves me so much. Oh! Yes! Man! Yeah! Our luck has been pretty good recently. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, all, all the all the gear within the battle pass this time around is Viper Strike, which is uh, the new team coming into Rainbow, uh, which is, I believe, the final team as well. So there's five teams. They've all been announced. So that is it now for the teams. And then all the future ops are going to be assigned to, you know, each of the five teams. Tier 100 Lion, you cannot tell me that is worthy of an elite skin. Like, you can't tell me that is not, like, this is a battle pass skin. You can't tell me this is not worthy of an elite skin. This could be an elite skin, and I would not complain. I wouldn't even question it. Which is, well, with the, oh my god, this is a game changer. With the year 8 Bravo packs, if you get to tier 100 on the battle pass, you can get a, a Bravo ticket. What did I spend my Bravo ticket on? Oh, 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 where is it? Come here, baby. That. You cannot tell me that is not the cleanest skin in the game. Black Ice on Zofia just hits different. It's just, we've got Alpha Pack, Bravo Pack. Imagine they came out with like a Charlie Pack. What what could a Charlie Pack even be? What would they even put in a Charlie Pack? Remember to go in the description down below to get the new Year 8 Premium Pass. Discover about the new Year 8. Discover the new season coming up. It really does support me as well, clicking the link. So here's to Year 8 Season 1. And the whole Year 8 to come. I'm very excited. It's going to be amazing. Have a good day. Take care. And goodbye.